All praise Yetsuba Neck, the underworld's nightmare, the black disc which stands before the sun. All praise Verhu, beaming with delight. All praise the fire which burns all, and the darkness shall swallow the darkness. Murgborg is a doom metal concept album of an RPG. It's like a spiked fail to the face. It is made by Pelle Nielsen and Johan Noor and was published by the Swedish publisher Free League. And I supported it on the Kickstarter. And what made me personally um, contribute to it was not only that they have an amazing looking collector's edition and a pretty cool Kickstarter video, but they also had a Spotify playlist and they said this is the music we listen to while designing the game and that kind of sold me on the whole concept. I'll leave a link to said Spotify music playlist in the video description below. The whole game design, not only the graphics design and the layout, but also the world and the rules, it's all metal as fuck. You've got your, your weapons list, it's just a medieval Kupferstich artwork where there's a guy with all of the possible weapons stuck in him. And on the next page you get some more weapons and it's just all over the place and I find it is pretty amazing. And the background world. The background world is as dark and doom and gloom as it can get. There's even a rule and a series of prophecies that will come true that uh, governs the end of the world. So at the beginning of your game, your campaign, you can decide how long you want to play, just a few sessions, maybe a few days of pain, or a long session, play for years. What you do, each game day, the GM rolls a dice and you decide on the type from a D2 to a D100. And every time you roll a one, one more prophecy of the end times comes true until the seventh and final prophecy, the one I read at the beginning, um, hearkens the end of days and the world comes to an end. There's even a rule in there when your game world ends you should burn the book because the world comes to an end. That is pretty metal. I Personally, house ruled I wouldn't burn the book because I think it's rather nice and I don't want to burn it. But I have seen people on uh, the official Morgborg Discord who did burn the book after the last prophecy came true. So, rock on guys. The rules are very basic OSR, D&D first edition type of rule set. And uh, that makes it easy to play the game if you are uh, an experienced game master, but I don't think it's necessarily meant for new players. You've got uh, four basic abilities. You uh, roll on 3d6, add them up in order to make your character. These abilities are Strength, Dexterity, Constitution, and presents for everything else. You've got the choice of either making a basic character, then you just roll the stats and you roll equipment and you're pretty much done. Or you pick one of the classes that for one will modify your ability score rolls, so you might roll 2d6 plus 2 or 3d6 minus 2 so um, the character types make your abilities kind of biased towards what you need for the archetype. And I love these classes. 
they are also metal as fuck. You've got the fanged deserter, uh, which is your basic fighter, but he is also a deserter. And he also has a mouth full of sharp tooth he can use as a weapon. You've got your gutterborn scum, which is your rogue, but they are not being nice about it. Uh, you've got your esoteric hermit, which is your basic spell casting class. You also got wretch royalty, which can be pretty much anything. And uh, the heretical priest, which is your equivalent to a cleric. But they already start out as heretics hunted by the church. And last but not least, the occult herb master. Because you got to take some drugs if you want to be doom metal as fuck. Each of these classes, they have their own background tables, their own equipment tables you can roll on to make your character. And they're just very creative, very flavorful things your character can get in here. For example, the Feng Deserter can get the brown scimitar of Galgenbeck, a stinking sword you pulled from a military shit ditch. D6 damage, D10 attack and defense while you wield it. One in six chance a wounded enemy is smitten with potent sepsis dying in 10 minutes. And this just adds so much to the flavor of this world uh, that I really love these classes. I, I loved them so much I uh, tried to go into this direction with the classes of my own OSI system uh, Blood Sun. But these classes are also very specific. Um, if you make two fanged deserters, they can be quite different depending on abilities uh, and equipment and the background, but the flavor will pretty much be the same. But if you have a more generic class, like a fighter, that can be anything from a fanged deserter to a noble knight. So I tried to go for these favorable classes, but I didn't go all the way. Uh, you also got some tables in the rules to give your characters spleens and uh, disfigurement scars or something like that. Uh, you can for, roll on them or throw a knife at them and then your character might be a nihilist and tell everyone about it. Or he might have uh, pox scars or a missing thumb, really bad teeth. Uh, again, this adds so much uh, flavor to the characters. So, uh, these characters are, let's say, below your standard D&D character. This is the scum of the earth. Most of the background information you get in Murkborg about its world is presented in these kind of random tables. Uh, for me, I personally like it because this makes it easy for me, for my process to prepare for an adventure. Just uh, roll on a few tables, take it as inspiration and then make up the rest. But uh, it might not be for you if you're looking for a more detailed description and more prose text. This is really short and on point. Because the background and the rules itself are so minimalistic, so vague, uh, that I think it's made for an experienced game master who uses this as inspiration to make up his own game, to interpret and add to the rules as he sees fit and to use the world to make the world his own and run the game he wants to run. I for one am uh, perfectly fine with that. So far I've only managed to play a one-shot and I 
mastered the module Death, Frost, Doom for the Lamentations of a Flame Princess game, which is uh, very interesting and also very Doom Metal module. And because um, the Lamentations of the Flame Princess is also an OSR, it was super easy to convert onto Murtborg. And during uh, the whole session, the Murkbog rolls were never hindrance. It was just very smooth running this game, and I didn't have to look up rules and could just let the players roll as I saw fit. No problem at all. For this one shot, I used the character generator from the Murkborg website that you can find there, link in the description below, among other really nice material. And with that, it was easy enough, to, very fast, to create five characters complete with equipment, background, spleens and scars, uh, physical distinguishments, so my characters could just take them and hop right in. No, nothing else would try it. I had great fun running that one shot with my friends, but I got the feeling that there's more fun to be had to run one apocalyptic end time burning book campaign with this over several sessions, maybe over the course of a year. But I suspect it might not be for my regular players because the character development and the options the rules give you explicitly are not that many. So I might have to run that one online, find some players who are all doom and gloom and want to run Murkburg with me. All in all, I would say if you are into metal, if you are into OSRs, you should give Murkburg a look at. You can pick up the rules for 15 bucks as PDF on drive through RPG. At the time making this video, the print version is out of stock, but they are looking to reprint it and you can pre-order it now. And if you do, you will get the PDF version via email right away. I think for how small it is, the game is a bit expensive, but I for one didn't regret buying it. And if you don't burn the book at the end of your campaign, you can have years of pain with it.